What is going on, my peoples? We are live. The Weightlifting Geek on YouTube.com. And our special guest is... Mauricio Banuelos. What's up, guys? How's it going? That's it. We got Mauricio in the house. Now, this is going to be a really good live stream because Mauricio and I both are still in the beginning phases of this. Um, and we're growing together. He's growing his channel. I'm growing my channel. So this is just a chance for us to get together, chat a little bit, and um, just be able to enjoy a live stream together. So we're looking forward to comments from those that are in attendance. We'll be able to include those in the live stream. And, you know, we just kind of hang out a little bit. That's the, that's the thing that we want to do today. Uh oh, we got Dave in the house, Fitness Savages. What's up, bro? How's it going? Never met before, but nice to meet you, bro. Listen, I'm Mauricio. I'm gonna tell you, Dave is the man. He um he he's he's been around the um the low 230s and now he's around 280. He does a lot of burpees and hit type stuff. Mm -hmm. He makes real good content. And um yeah. he, he does some good editing too. He does some real good editing too. I'm gonna so, need to check um, him out for some motivation, bro. It's for some that's uh, it. little bit of help. Yep. Yeah. That's it. That is it. So um, for the people that aren't subscribed to your channel, that are subscribed to the Weightlifting Geek, what can what can you tell them about yourself so that they can get to know you? Well, what I can say is that right now I'm just a college student trying to, you know, trying to focus on both things, not only uh, school, but also like YouTube as well. Uh, just like you are, you know what I mean? Like trying to work balance everything just work school youtube and and we both know bro we've talked about it youtube is literally a job in its own and uh i'm just trying to you know just get better into editing and then also just camera appearance because i feel like right now uh these these right now just what we're doing is just stepping stones you know what i mean and i feel like that's what it is it's just like the first 300 videos is going to be stepping stone i feel yeah. like that's when i'm gonna find myself you'll find yourself i feel like that's you know, that's when that's kind of what we're in right now. That's the stage we're in right now. So that's pretty much about what I'm doing right now. And and that's pretty much it. I also like fitness as well. So that's why that's how me and you found each other, you know, from that's it. literally weightlifting. And then also, I'm not going to lie. I, I do know how to edit and all that stuff. So I am a geek as well. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. I wanted to show Dave's comment on the screen. Oh, we got motivated Minnie in the house. Mimi, um, your video with your husband, the recent one, that one was good. That one was good. I like that video. I didn't get a chance to comment on it, but I like that video. And um, I thought I saw CC. CC me fit in the comments. I'm still working with Nightbot. Sometimes it acts crazy because said something about spamming, but she didn't spam. But anyway, we, we're trying to get that part straight. Uh-oh, we got my other friend in the house. How are you oh. doing? <laughs> How What's are you up, doing? Kirsten? Oh, yeah, we got Kristen in the house, too. Hey, Kirsten, how you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in to the live stream. We appreciate it. She's an OG, man. I think she's been subscribed to my channel for like a year and a half now. Yes. Crazy. Yes. yes. When um I first met Kristen or Kirsten, she had um about 700 subscribers. And and she was commenting on my channel's growth and I was just telling her how we're going to hit the the marks. And then to see her channel hit 1000 and to see her channel just taking off. I know. I'm so happy for Kirsten. I don't know what to do. I think it's the the grind like I saw that um I think Correct me if I'm wrong, Kirsten, if you're still in here. Um, I think she was posting like once a day at one point. I think it was for like a whole 30 days. I was like, dang, bro, that's so – I it couldn't be me. I wondered how the editing and all that. Yes. That, that's a grind. Sure enough. Sure enough. All right. Let's see. Oh, we do have CC Me Fit in the house. How you doing? Thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. Oh, and then we got my boy. Mass gaining guy, man. I'm telling you, his content is good. That dude's strong too. He's <laughs> real strong. Oh, we got 12 veils in the house. I saw your live stream, but I didn't have a chance to jump on because 
we were getting ready to do this one, but I'm gonna make sure to check out your live stream um after we finish here. But thank you so much for stopping by. You're welcome, Kirsten. We family. That's how we do. The grind it is. The grind it is. That's excellent, CC. We're glad to have you here. That's for sure. Um, now, one of the things that I wanted to talk about, and I think we're going to go ahead and talk about this first because everything else kind of builds on it. Um, yeah. When you first started your channel, it was more fitness related. And yeah. um, that's how I met you. And the funny thing is, when I first started my channel, one of the things that I was doing was going through YouTube and looking for other content creators in my niche to reach out and to develop the, the relationships and the friendships, kind of like what we were talking about earlier off camera. And um, I saw your I saw one of your videos. So um, I jumped on. I commented. You know what I mean? And then you subscribe to my channel and whatnot. But as you progressed, you've gone for fitness to more vlogs now yeah so if you just kind of tell tell the people why that happened why you made the change and how it was going well first off like we were kind of talking about uh, off the live is like it just it became very repetitive to me um i i'm the type of person where sometimes like you just got to fight your demons in the gym and i personally can't take like a like you know a big ups to everybody who takes the camera and like does workouts, I personally can't. Like I literally have to have my AirPods on and just like full music. And then content wise, I felt like everything uh, just became a little repetitive on my part where I was saying stuff. And then like, like you said, just the friendships we had, I would go through their channels and we were talking about the same thing. And I was like, wait a second, let me go ahead and switch it up because we're not all living a, our, the same lives. So let me go ahead and just, vlog my life i'm a student i'm going through that that's stress as well so i was just like you know what let me just do more lifestyle hang out with my friends and just have just have you know just the the cool part of having being on camera you know what i mean and just kind of still pursuing my dream but not just fitness and kind of make it if i want to talk about fitness one day i can if i can if i want to talk about like literally anything eating a pizza i mean y'all know my pizza reviews oh, listen, you know like the, the pizza series Bruh, the pizza <laughs> series. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah, like that's the thing, bro. It's like, see, and that's why I wanted it because if you meet me and I don't know if you can get this vibe already, I'm just so random, bro. Like one second I can be talking about pizza. The next second I'll literally be somewhere else, like uh, penny boarding at school or something. Like, you know uh -huh. what I mean? That's because I was like, bro, you know, there's a lot of uniqueness that you can do. So, I mean, that's why I was like, that's, that's what I love to do. And that's what, um, and it's crazy, bro, because like the more I do it and the more I edit um, all this stuff on like lifestyle wise, I'm uh -huh. like starting to fall in love with it more. And that's yeah. pretty much it, bro. Like it's it's like literally just passion, bro. Like if you have passion, you're going to you're going to keep wanting to do what you're doing. You know what I mean? And fitness is like I'm passionate about it. But at the same time, is like I feel like that's more for me. You know what I mean? Like fitness is more like I, I kind of want to enjoy it on my free time and I want to like mm -hmm. work out and like just get all this stress, get all the uh -huh. anger, I guess. Like, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. but, so, yeah, that's, yeah, that's how that happened. I got you, bro. We got Coach Kev in the house. Purpose Driven. I love his channel. Um, Same, bro. Yeah. His, yeah. his editing, bro, is yes. got so much better, bro. Like, whenever I started, he was like, I think he had just started, too. And this was, like, during quarantine. And, bro, his his content just got, like, yeah top notch bro yeah the um the video where he interviewed people and how they felt about um kobe and Gigi. i love that video yep i love that video we so glad to have you here kev we appreciate it um but yeah I, and i think that kind of what you were saying earlier um it really makes sense because you're not boxing yourself into one thing you can um you can do whatever you feel like doing that day. Hey man, we got you, bro. We learned yes, it from you. <laughs> we learned it from you. We're just glad you're here, bro. That's how that goes. But um, it's just not being tied to one thing. And because of what you did, you gave yourself freedom. It took me, let's see, this is um it took me about a good six months to really start 
being more than just weightlifting and the geek stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and and now with the silent live streams and uh, hanging out with little man on the Xbox and those kind of things, um, I want people to get to know more of just me besides the geek and the weightlifting. So um, you doing that with the vlogs, man, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, bro. Honestly, like, I think it's the best thing I ever did. Like, just for like mentality wise, because um, I was actually one of those people that just at that point, whenever um, I was getting burnt out of fitness content, I literally had deleted everything, like everything. And I remember, um, I don't know if you keep up with Jess Kaplan. She had literally yes. commented uh-huh. on one of her own pictures, tagged me. And she said, hey, I've been trying to watch your videos. What happened to them? And I was like, and I think I was 20, like, I've only posted 20 videos at that point. And I was like, <laughs> I think I need to go back. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just come back with a whole different perspective and stuff. So that was just like the, that turning point. But, bro, some, I'm the type of person that I feel like things happen for a reason. And you never know. Maybe maybe she said that because there's more to come. You know what I mean? Like That's part. Yeah. So I don't know, bro. Like, it's just that that definitely motivates me. And it's crazy to think about that. Like, I remember that because that's one of the things that made me just have that turning point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's excellent. That's excellent. Oh, we got Derek in the house. Um, so Derek, I have to apologize. I didn't see my steps from last week. By the time I realized it was Monday, I felt shame. Um, but I am gonna <laughs> I am gonna send you my steps from last week and this week once we finish the live stream. Um, I because I do want to be a part of the challenge and um I, I've stepped up a couple days. We we're hitting the 5,000 and some change as opposed to just three. We're trying to, to step a little bit more for the challenge, but I, I figure it's only right for me to let you know here that um, I messed up, but I'm going to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, accountability, man. bro. It's accountability. I like it. <laughs> That's it. That is it. Now, um, one of the other things that I personally like that people that aren't subscribed to you won't know yet is the vending machine business. You oh, guys yeah. tell them about the vending machine business. Well, do you want the long explanation or do you want just short and sweet? Hey, bro, we here. Give it to us all. We here. All right. So basically with that, bro, like um, I was 19 at the time, right? And I was like, I was stressed out, bro. Like at that point, I had just bought a truck. It wasn't the one I have right now. It was like a Chevy. And bro, at that point, I was just wanting money because I was like, um, I couldn't really, not that I couldn't afford it, but I was like literally breaking even every month, bro. And I was like, you know what? I told my dad, I was like, Hey, what can I do? Like, I need more money. He was like, why don't you buy yourself a vending machine? So I just started saving money, saving money, saving money. And back then this is before inflation, bro. I bought a vending machine, like at $600 and, wow. uh, and that machine did well, but then bro, it had so many problems. And, um, then I finally bought this one and it, this is the difference, bro. I bought a $600 machine in 2019 and then i bought this one in 2021 for three thousand dollars bro so exactly wow exactly so it was just like one of those uh one of those things and then i got into it and um i have a vending machine and then also i have a fridge at another shop where like there they just like kind of put the money on top of the or in the register. And then uh-huh. also I have a gumball machine as well. So I just have a lot of things kind of like that, just, you know, just passive income, but it's not like, it's not what I want, but it's a start. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Well, and, and the reason why I wanted to bring that out is because I started the, um, the geek squad clothing, the merch as, as a way to create something similar with the passive income. Um, but I feel like all of these things come together. Because as you as a person, the the gumption to go ahead and do the vending machine because you want to do something different, the gumption to start YouTube and the consistency in doing it, it it's all part of your character. And I want the people to get to know you. So I want them to know when they go to your channel, these are the kind of things that they're going to see that's behind the content itself. Yeah, I appreciate that. I feel like that goes kind of like under... Like that's kind of overlooked. That's the word I was looking for. It's kind of overlooked because like, I feel like you can watch my content and you just see this goofy guy on camera, but then like, you don't see all that other stuff. You know what I mean? And I appreciate giving me this platform to be able to kind of like talk a little bit more about myself and like what I have to offer. You know what I mean? Cause I feel like, you know, it's just, 
it's just great kind of getting to know a person better. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And I want everybody to know, like, the biggest thing for me, the reason why I started YouTube was to be able to give back. Like, when I first started, I was so happy to hit 300-pound bench, I thought I was going to lose my mind. And I had been recording videos pretending to YouTube for, like, three weeks. When I hit 300, I said, oh, God, I got to make a channel. I got to make a channel. But um, I've enjoyed being able to help others. And, and that's what the whole thing is about. So being able to help you to grow helps us all to grow because everybody that's here gets to grow. Dave in the comments gets to grow. Kirsten gets to grow. Kev gets to grow. Cece gets to grow because we got to develop and build this community so that we're all helping each other out. That's what the whole thing is all about. So I'm just glad to have you here, bro. That's for sure. Yeah. Likewise, bro. I really do appreciate it. One of the other things um, that I wanted to talk about is what are your goals for your channel? I feel like that's a really good question because I feel like right now, um, I feel like I'm at a turning point, like you said about the content. But the thing is that like, I feel like right now I'm actually getting somewhere. Like, I feel like the last two videos I actually made were like two of my best, but I feel like I'm at the point where I'm still trying to figure that out. Cause that's a good question. I don't want to stray away from that question, but what, what's the purpose is like, I, like you said, giving back, bro, like, honestly, because I mean, I feel like there's like a lot of uh, trauma or like kind of like problems that we all face when we were younger. And then like us wanting to give back is kind of like a like a way to kind of, you know, combat what we felt at that time. So I feel that's pretty much what I what I want to do. I just want to give back. But at the same time, I want to be like, um, you know, just free in the sense that like I can wake up, make content and just live my life you know what i mean because i i really yeah. am starting to enjoy it like i i really am like it's just to the point where i'm like damn bro like i'm here right now going to school going to work and making content but how cool would it be to like eliminate these two and just say i make content you know what i mean uh -huh. like that's yeah. the that's the thing that like that's kind of like my purpose right now bro i'm just trying to like and the scary part is that i actually graduate next december and my thing is like bro i want to be able to already be you know, good by that time. So that's why like right now I'm just on my grind because of that, you know? Yeah. Like last week I just started grinding on the shorts. Like I just started kind of splitting up my videos and putting them in the shorts and a lot of them blew up and that's the same thing. Like I'm gonna do this week. I'm gonna try to go on and off so I just won't burn out myself on the, like you said, in the editing process because it is hard, bro. Like, you know yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. And for me with so much of the things that I have going on outside of YouTube, Man, I can't tell you how many Sunday nights I was up to three in the morning trying to get a video out because it was supposed to drop at midnight. And I wanted it to drop before it was too late because 12 here is noon in Africa. So it's like I got to get this thing out before three or four. That way everybody can get a chance to see it. And man, it was just stressful. Um, it is. So I started doing the live stream on Monday as a way to, to balance it out and make it a little bit easier for me and then it just it got to be so much fun with the live streams i'm like i'm gonna just do them mondays and fridays <coughs> uh oh um 12 l says she loves the gumballs <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're addicting <laughs> that's it that is it uh oh we got my man mr introvert in the house what is going on now, he, he's another grinder. He's doing a lot of stuff. He's been doing a lot of lives, trying to help this thing grow, um, which is excellent. And then my big brother, Chancey Fit, is in the house. <coughs> you want to talk about a grind? The, the mm -hmm. mindset that Chancey has, and just in talking to him off of social media and just talking on the phone, uh, his mindset and where he's going is amazing. Um, he's one of those people that I bounce ideas off of just because of where he's already at and what he's trying to do. Man, I'm, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. Great. Bro, research. it's crazy because like 
like I said, whenever I first started, he's another <laughs> one too, him and Kev. Um, he was one, I think, that he started from the from quarantine gang, bro. And this guy, like, I think we were we were in the same numbers for a while. Like, he was at 200. And all of a sudden, bro, I just see him and I'm like, I commented on the video. I was like, is this guy, do you have a camera crew now? What is going on? And, like, I was like, damn, bro, that's, that's insane. Like, I thought that was so motivating to me because I was like, someone from, like, our little pod like our little class just, <coughs> just blew up, bro. It was, it was interesting it. to see. And now, um, he, Chancey, are you at 10 yet? I know you super close. He's at like 9,000 and 9.8, 9.9. Um, hold on, let me check and see. I don't know if Chancey, has Chancey hit? Um, has he hit 10 yet? <clears throat> yep, 10.8. You see what I mean? <laughs> Last time I looked, it was 9.8. <laughs> now it's 10.8. <laughs> the guy's a monster, I'm telling you. He is a monster. It's, it's amazing. Hey, Last time I checked, it was 200, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. That, that's it. That's right. crazy, bro. Almost 11,000. Um, and... I'm kind of like you because seeing somebody reaching those goals is confirmation that, you know what I mean? You can wake up tomorrow with 700. I can wake up tomorrow with 700. And we just keep going and keep pushing until it happens because at some point it is. Yeah. At some sure, point bro. it is. So, the, and it's kind of like what you were saying earlier with balance because. I can't kill myself to make my channel grow, but I can put in that work while all my other things are being taken care of so that I can hit my numbers as I want to go. So we're we just trying, man. We're just trying. And it's, yeah, it's, it, it's very go. motivating, bro. Like, to be honest with you, like right now, actually, I'm at the point where I just actually like, I'm not going to do it. Okay. So don't, don't. I uh, think I am, but like, there's times where um, I just kind of want to do like the Casey Neistat thing and just daily vlog, bro. That that would literally drive me insane. But uh -huh. I know that it it'll get my growth out there because, like, bro, you can't skip a beat. I'm gonna post a video. I'm gonna post a video. I'm gonna post. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like, I've been really thinking about that. But then I'm like thinking about it, like realistically for my mental health i'm like bro i'd go crazy i'm going crazy right now imagine <laughs> oh my gosh bro like yeah. i don't know have you ever thought about that yourself like have you ever thought about daily vlogging or daily posts um i have and right now what i'm kind of doing and the short shelf on youtube is a different beast and the problem with shorts is a lot of times you're, the people that are subscribed to you may not see your shorts until a couple days later um, because it's separate than your regular videos. Um, so what I do is on Monday, I do the live stream in the gym. On Tuesday, I do the Tech Tuesday. And then um, on Wednesday, I do a motivational minute short. On Thursday, I do a motivational minute short. On Friday, I do the gym live stream. On Saturday, I do the silent live stream with Little Man and me and the Xbox, or I'm working on my RC car, you know, just stuff so people yeah, yeah. can get to know me as a person. And then on Sunday, we're going to be doing the Strongman live stream. So I'm trying every day to put some, I can't edit a video and have it out every day. There's no yeah. way. I, I die. I die. But I'm trying to put something into the YouTube bank every day and you just see what happens. Yeah, I feel that because like, see, I like the only thing that really, really is like, I feel like is kind of hurting my growth. Like whenever I look back, right, and look at my content, the thing that I feel that is hurting me the most is that since I'm blogging, I'm thinking like, why am I so scared? Like, why do I get a type of anxiety? To be able to uh -huh. vlog in person, like like not in person, but in public, like uh -huh. like why? I I think about it, and then there's times where like I'm literally gonna get the phone or my camera, and I go like this, and I'm like, bro, go like <laughs> this, you know what I mean? Like it's so easy. Like there's people that do it, like but 
I don't know. I think it's just that, like, what are people going to say about me? But, like, I don't know if there's people in the chat that, like, vlog or do content outside. But that's, like, my biggest issue. And I want to get better at that. You know what I mean? Because I yeah. want to look back at this live stream and be like, dang, this guy was really complaining about not being able to, to <laughs> vlog in, in public. Like, you know what I mean? Now this guy's doing it. But that honestly, bro, that not, not that that's my only flaw. But I feel like that's my biggest flaw right now. Like, if I would want a daily vlog, if I'm busy at school all day, how the hell am I gonna make a video like this? You know what I mean? Like, it's just, yeah. it doesn't make yeah. sense. So that's why I feel like I just need to stop, like, you know, just stop being so afraid and, and just do it. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Well, and and the thing is, um, because of society, there is a stigma about being a YouTuber. It, and I don't know, it's just something like, oh dude, you're a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So for me, I feel comfortable in the gym because everybody in my gym knows what I do, how I do, why I do. So that's my comfort zone. So I'll vlog in the car on the way to the gym. But oh my, to walk in Walmart with a big Sony camera, oh my gracious, I think I'd die. I, th I honestly think I would die. So I completely and totally know what you mean about yep. the, the vlog. Oh my gracious. Um, hold on. What, it, what did uh, Mimi say? That's what I was about to say. If you can highlight that one, because I I've thought about that so much. Like I've actually like that goes through my mind all the time. Like I like she just said that, and that's actually goes back to my point. Yeah. That would like cause growth. You know what I mean? Uh huh. So yeah, it, it's just frustrating because if I'm doing vlogging, it's it makes sense like i have to do this but the thing is that like i don't know if, if you can tell but like i honestly have friends but like i i'm an only child so like me myself i've always been used to being alone and doing everything alone so i don't have people uh -huh. to like vlog with or i do yeah. but the thing is that i just don't like disturbing people with my goals like like i just don't yeah. want them to be like oh this guy like he has a camera we can't be ourselves you know what i mean so uh -huh. i try to enjoy the time with them just with them and not have like 405 people <laughs> you know what I, mean? <laughs> I know what you mean bro i know exactly what you mean and yep. um my personal goal right now is um to get i've already picked out my camera i know exactly what it looks like i've looked at the specs um i've looked at reviews on it so when we hit a thousand subscribers i want to buy that camera because that's the 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 feedback that you know what i mean everything is growing in the right direction now it's time to really put some skin in the game let's let's get us a camera let's step our game up so i'm i'm looking at all these things and i got all this stuff behind the scenes and i'm just waiting to see it grow and um i'm just hoping that i hit a thousand before i have enough money to buy the camera that i want to buy so <laughs> which one is it it's the um sony eos 50. No, I think Canon. I've heard of that one before. Canon? The Canon. Yeah, the Bro, Canon. Bro, that's EOS the same thing. one I have. Are you serious? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's it. That's it. That's the one I want. But honestly, for now, for what you're doing, I'd say this is the best decision because I actually got the Rebel like a long time ago and it only looked like this, right? So it didn't have this right here. Yes. And this helps a lot the viewfinder i think that's what it's called that helps uh -huh. a lot bro like but the thing is that what i've noticed there's a lot of people um that i like have watched that are still small youtubers and i see because i've done it myself they like look at themselves in the viewfinder but the thing is that you have to kind of like be in not intimate that's i don't know that's out of line but like kind of like have a like a relationship with the lens you have to look at uh -huh. the lens you know what i mean you can't you can't be like looking at the viewfinder the whole time. You have to make sure you're looking at the lens because if not, you're just going to look cross-sided. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Let's see. Um, what did Derek say? Um, Derek said when I was filming my 50 burpees in a day challenge at the park, I had two people talk to me. and that See? that That's what we were just talking about. Man, honestly, like. I'm so easy to get motivated into something, and I swear these guys are motivating me to just yeah. Go out there. Uh huh. That's <laughs> it. That's it. Oh, what did Kev say? Vlog hey, bro, vlogging is different. And I'm gonna tell you one one day I want to start vlogging, but I'm just I'm not at that point yet. I just I got to grow a little bit within myself. 
Let's see. What did Mimi say? Start at the same time and I've always been yeah, a subscriber on COVID. Oh yeah, you did do that prank in public. That's crazy. That is crazy. Her growth. That is that is bananas. That is absolutely bananas. Um it's it's just it's amazing. Um that's crazy. 1.9 thousand subscribers. That is amazing. That is amazing. Um we go I'm I y'all are motivating me. I got to start doing something different too. That's amazing. That's amazing. So I guess that answers our question, Mauricio. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, let's see. Also, if you're like, um, I've, I've been thinking about that too. Wow, that's she's like literally taking all the words out of my mouth. <laughs> like, I've been thinking about that because, like, I um, okay, you're into fitness. So, did you ever uh, watch this guy uh, Max Tuning? That's who I get a lot of inspiration from my vlogs. Actually, I don't think I've watched him. He, he actually, back like two, three years ago, he actually used to do that. He had a GoPro and he would like literally, it would kind of sound muffled back then. I don't uh -huh. know about now because obviously everything's like the technology is just improving. But the GoPro, I saw him do that. And I feel like that's a lot easier. Like I would have less anxiety going like this, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's actually a really good idea. But the thing is the price, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. The, the price of a GoPro is is more than the price of that canon yeah it's crazy well, actually i think a, a gopro is like 300 but i think this camera was like six something i don't know oh, about that's now, right but... that's right that's yeah. right yeah that camera is like six that camera is like six um I, but see me it's like if i buy a gopro then i'm putting half of the money i'm gonna put in the canon then i gotta put the entire six in the canon so i, I don't know i i think i'm gonna just I'm gonna buy a, a better mount for my phone, and I might just use my phone to do more vlogging and um, and that kind of deal. But hold on, what you say? Um, huh. Oh no, that's the one we just looked at. What was this one? The eight and the nine are cheaper. Okay. Oh, the GoPro eight and the GoPro nine are cheaper. Okay. Mm. Huh. Interesting. Me and, me and you are just going to start daily vlogging. Hey, she's hey, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Now, now, see, this is my problem. Um, I don't feel like my life is interesting enough to vlog. I, <laughs> and I've, I've always felt that way. So I, I don't know. I guess um, this is motivation for me to just be me and have the camera. We... Okay, let's let's go ahead and get into that because I actually wanted to say that because that's something that I actually want to vlog about one day. So, um, because of vlogging, I feel like my life became more interesting because um, every day you just want to like do something else. Like literally, like you've seen my videos, like, confetti poppers. Yeah. Like, yeah, when exactly. Will I have ever done that. And then my last video, uh, what was the other one? Uh, making the brick oven pizza. Like, yeah, uh huh. I wouldn't have done that if it wasn't for content. You know what I mean? Like, like just yeah. that's that's why. Like sometimes, um, I pull out of like my vending funds, and I'm like, this is an investment. You know what I mean? Because I'm not scared yeah. to do it. Because I'm like, no, this is an investment. Like, what if this is the video? I had the idea. What if? You know what I mean? So I'm like, you know, what if me going out of town and vlogging about it? What if that's the video? You know? You know uh -huh. what I mean? So like, yeah. that's why. That's the motivation that I get because, but sometimes I'm like, what happens if I'm just broke? And I'm just like, oh, you know what I mean? like but yeah. I try to be careful with that, with that part. And the funny thing is, oh, hold on. Um, we got Sean in the house. Oh, what did he say? Oh, he said he's using <laughs> I was, I was laughing at that. I was like, what's, going? <laughs> what's up, bro? We glad you're here. Um, oh, you're out in, the, out in the barn working. Now, I'm going to tell you, Sean is um, Sean is strong. He he yoke, yoke walked 600 and some pounds for like 30 feet. Yeah. 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 Sean is strong. Sean is real strong. Um, and 
I'm hoping and starting to do some of the strongman stuff that it's going to convert over to powerlifting. Um, I finally broke down and ordered me some Cerberus knee wraps or knee sleeves. And mm-hmm. um, I bought some Cerberus wrist wraps because the gloves that I use when I bench press, I feel like the gloves get in the way. Um, hmm. He says 600 pounds for 20 feet. That's crazy. Wow. That's crazy. That um, is crazy. So, yes, uh, when we start doing the live streams with the strongman stuff, by all means, let me know in the comments what I'm doing wrong, what I can improve in. We, we need all the help we can get. That's it. Yeah. And the functional strength, too. The functional strength, too. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, so, yeah, I, for me personally, um, I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone because I had to invest in the merchandise. You know what I mean? It, 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 was, it wasn't money that I had planned on spending, but um, it's one of those things. It's like I got to take this leap, kind of like with the $600 vending machine. And, yeah. um, and the more I do, the more it'll grow. Hey, you know it, bro. You know it. You know it. Now you gotta have to help me with straw man. I, I don't I don't know a lot about powerlifting, but I know a little bit. But I'm lost when it comes to strong man. So yeah, all the tips you can give me along the way, I appreciate it. But it's like the merchandise is, is the first step. Um even getting the paid version of StreamYard so that the logo's there and not the StreamYard logo. I, you know, I, I'm trying to take all of these little steps to keep going and to keep growing um, because man, I'm, I'm like me, me, me done motivated me. I want 2k and I want it tomorrow. <laughs> right. <laughs> I want it tonight. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So um, I, yeah, man, I'm about to start vlogging at Walmart. Y'all gonna see what we buy for groceries or something. Yeah, bro. Same. Um, like I'm about to vlog me buying a GoPro eight. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. You know it, Sean. You know it. We we about the same because seriously lifting. Well, seriously lifting has probably been um, maybe two and a half years for me. Uh, but I was doing push ups and all that kind of stuff for a long time. Um, but yeah, man, I just I, I want to grow. And and the thing is, um, I feel like your content. And my content and our channels is growth for the right reason mm-hmm. to be able to give back and to help others along the way. Um, Cause I remember being at 200 subscribers and being like, man, I wish there was somebody that would do something that would just put me on the map. Um, but bro, you don't understand. I feel that bro. Like there's sometimes that I'm thinking, like I look at other, like, I'm talking people from Los Angeles, bro. Like people that like just got put on and have like a million subscribers. I'm like, when is that going to happen to me? But I'm like, what if, what if I'm that person that's going to be that guy? You know yeah. what I mean? Because here, that that's the thing that really stresses me out though here. And cause I'm from Corpus Christi, right? Corpus Christi, Texas. So like, I'm like literally over here, San Antonio's over here and Austin's over here. Austin's more like the LA of, of like uh-huh. Texas, but I'm thinking like, bro, do I have to move to to Austin to like find people to make content with? Because like here, bro, there's no one here like that makes content. So that stresses me out because like when you go to Austin, you go to LA, that's like the, that's the, you know, that's the motive over there. Like you want to grow, like you're going to be in a skit with someone that has 50,000 subscribers for growth. You're going to be in a skit with someone with a million subscribers for growth. You know what I mean? Uh And it's like here, I'm like literally doing stuff by myself because there's no one that that you can collab, you can, you know what I mean? And that's why when, when we had this opportunity, when this happened, I was like, bro, this is something like, you know what I mean? And also the cool thing is that it's going to be a little track that it's going to go ahead and help us. You know what I mean? It's going to be cool seeing kind of like the stuff we talked about before. And then later in the future, whenever we're in a different milestone, we're going to be like, damn, bro, this was very like, I can't believe I said this and already happened. You know what I mean? That's the thing that, that's the thing I like because I started realizing it um i i actually was vlogging about it today that like i was like i told you i was looking at all my old videos and i was like dude i i just recorded that i can't believe i did that like i recorded that and 
I'm looking at it a year and a half later and I'm like literally smiling because I was stressed out. I was like, whatever I felt at that moment, I was excited. And I can literally go back to that moment just by a click of a button. I was like, damn, I, now this motivates me to go ahead and record almost every aspect of my life now. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, it's exciting. Like, I don't know. That's that's what I like. And I feel like that'd be a good motivation for you since you kind of want to get into vlogging because like, you're going to look, look back and you're, you're not only going to see your, your weightlifting numbers, but you're going to see like, damn bro. Like I did this with my son on this day. You know what I mean? Like y'all yeah. going to the aquarium or whatever it may be. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. And um, that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. That's what I'm hoping is going to happen. Oh, so Dave said he was in Texas. He was in Fort Hood. Ooh. Tell me that barbecue. Tell me about that barbecue, man. <laughs> yeah. I know up yeah. north it's a lot better from what I've heard. Yeah, no, nah, um, I, I love me some barbecue. I love me some barbecue. Where um, are you from, actually? Like, I'm in North Carolina. Huh. Yeah, I'm in North Carolina. So I am um, about maybe two hours from Raleigh. So I'm on the eastern part of North Carolina. Cool. Yeah. So that's why the time zone. That's cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, but it's like where I am now, it's like an hour and a half to Raleigh. It's kind of like an hour and a half, hour 45, depending on how heavy your foot is. But it's kind of like you with Austin. Like, you know what I mean? In Raleigh, there's so many other things that you can do and there's so many people and whatnot. But um, I haven't been able to really link up with anybody. And so, I mean, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. But um, I don't know. It's one of those things. It's like um, even though physically it's not um, it's not possible to to move there, whatever the case may be. Um, I'm thinking like these live streams is a nice way to still get a chance to work with some of these people. So I'm I'm pushing the live streams not in the gym. Not only in the gym, but out of the gym too. So um, I'm just hoping that um, you know what I mean. It'll it'll take off like we want it to. Oh, Dave said Austin. Oh, he said Austin, baby. And then he said, um, "Hold on, what he said he said Sixth Street." This guy, <laughs> man, he's a party animal. I love it. I love it. I'm literally gonna go subscribe to this guy right after. That's funny. I've never been. I've never been because I'm only 22. But I I'm definitely want to go to Sixth Street. Like that's like literally like um correct me if I'm wrong. His name's Dave, right? Yeah. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. It's kind of like the Bourbon Street of Austin. Oh really? Yeah. It's just oh. bars, like a strip of just bars. Oh wow. Yeah. That's what's up. Let's see, what does Sean say? Hey, bro, we all trying to grow. We are all trying to go. He grow. That's like you got some thick skin for that, for like tips and criticism. Like that's that's really like powerful. Yes, indeed. Because you're putting yourself out there to like millions of people. You know what I mean? And like, wow, that's I like that. I like that mentality. Yeah. Hey, look, Sean, Cephas is a beast. I'm subscribed to Cephas channel. Um, and his numbers are growing too. He's at like 600 and some change now. Um, but Cephas is strong. Cephas is real strong. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I do, Sean. I do. I do. It looks like Dave does too. Um, yeah, Cephas is a beast. Cephas is a beast. He is bench pressing. Um, boy, I'm trying to tell you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dave said exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's when you said that. I was like, yep, that's my guy. Just, like, what movie was that? Uh, did we just become best friends? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. But that's what it's all about. It's, that's what it's all about. Because now we get to grow together. And um, as everybody grows, we all grow. And uh, it's I'm looking forward to the day looking back and seeing how um, how things have gone and how your channel's grown, how our channel's grown. You know what I mean? It's going to be amazing. Um, I think what it is, the best way to explain it is like we're kind of in our teenage years in YouTube. Like we're going through growing pains 
and mm-hmm. eventually we're going to be uh young we're going to be adults in the platform already where we're going to be able to you know just yeah do our thing like but the thing is that like the the mental thing with me is like bro like i have a date I'm like you know december 2022 that's when i want it because i'm gonna graduate you know what i mean and then like uh-huh. Cause then life happens and that's the thing that scares me. Do you, do you ever get psyched out like that mentally? Like, do you have a date or yeah. All the time. Um, because, oh, and, um, one thing I did set up with Nightbot that I meant to mention, if you type TWLG in the comments, you can share your link. That way anybody that's here will be able to, um, go to your channel and check you out. That way we can all grow together on this live stream. Yeah. Wait, so I just go to what? Private chat? Or um, do I go well, to the actual live stream? Yeah, you have to go to the live stream. Because right now you're behind the curtain. <laughs> okay. I, got it. I think I got it. Oh. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. And then in just a second, you'll see Nightbot share your channel. There it goes. There it goes. Thank you. You're welcome, bro. You're welcome. And that goes for anybody else in the comments. Um, because when you come to the live stream, I want you to be able to benefit from it too. So thank you for being here. And we want to try to get back. So that's what we're doing. Oh my um, gosh, why is Mimi such like she's so intuitive? Like, what? Oh, ask to do collabs and get something to place in places. Oh, ain't that something? That's crazy. Um, wow. Like, but see, that's the thing. I actually have a friend that told me that one time we were like in a study, uh, like a little study dome at school. And he was like, bro, just put your channel on the thing. And I was like, okay, I want to grow, but I'm scared to do it to, to like people uh-huh. that can actually see me. And you know what I mean? But uh-huh. I don't know. It, it, it just has to be done. Like, I, I really like that. That's a really good idea because regardless, you're going to grow. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Now I've started putting flyers up. But flyers are big. So mm-hmm. Mimi's suggestion is nice. You get some smaller stickers from like Amazon. And um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something that we can do. That's something that we can do. We can definitely do that. Um, thank you, Mimi. I'm going to tell you. And one of the things is you never know who is going to blow up and how they're going to blow up. But being part of this community I'm just as happy for Mimi to be almost at 2K as I am for me to hit 500. And you know what I mean? It, it, it's momentum and it's encouragement. We grow together. Um, <laughs> and no one would know who you are. There's nothing to be embarrassed of because you would be. Oh, my, oh I like oh it. My I like gosh. it. I By like t- it. Look, whenever I, like I get it. my podcast going, I I need to have y'all too. Like, just we need to we need to have like a chat. Like that'll be hey. such a good podcast. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. And see, the good thing with Streamyard is you can do more than two people. You can do up to four. I think four people. Um, what's your name? Oh, I also love some of McDonald's order box. <laughs> Man, look at this. Look at this. God bless, man. No wonder she has almost 2K. No wonder. Send the link to Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's do it. Hey, let's if you got it. if you have an affiliate link, let me know. I don't mind, you know, helping you out. Like, yeah, likewise. Likewise. Um, and then what is Sean saying? Oh, I got you, bro. I got you. I like his, hey. uh, his other comment at 646. That's I like that. Yeah. Hey, I like that's good stuff. That's good stuff. That's mindset right there. That is mindset. Yes, so um yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna be getting some stickers. I I'm I'm gonna be tatting up everything that I can tat up with Me stickers too. all over the place. I'm about to I go like to that. San Antonio, Austin, just <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm gonna get a sticker gun like the like the labels that they do at like yeah. those <laughs> I'm gonna do it everywhere. You get a sticker and you get a sticker and yeah. you get a sticker. <laughs> Look, this is for everybody who's in the chat right now. Like y'all just like I was already confident, 
but my confidence just is going through the roof right now because of these like of y'all like that's insane like just these ideas and just like you know like for example sean saying that about not thick skin it's all about confidence i agree with that like that's just something that us as humans we're not robots us as humans we just you know what i mean like we don't think about that and then like you just get you just second guess yourself and then mimi mm -hmm. like she said they're not gonna know like they're not they're not gonna know who it is because you already left by the time and then yeah. you know there should be like uh dave said there should be no shame in your youtube game like that's so true like you're already posting for people to see why are you scared for people to see you know i mean yeah 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 well, and and the funny thing is um i had maybe maybe 80 subscribers and no no i had um I had about maybe 40 or 50 subscribers. I hadn't I hadn't really told my wife. I hadn't really told any family. You know, I, I was just because I was scared. I was like, I'm gonna do this, but I don't even know what's gonna happen with it. And um it got to a point where I realized that if I could tell my family about it, and if I could tell my friends about it, then I shouldn't be able to be afraid to tell the world about it. And then I progressed and then I got scared and I didn't want to tell anybody all over again. So, so this is just, it's good motivation. You know what I mean? It's just good motivation. It really is, man. It, it's crazy how like we second guess ourselves. Like it's just, we shouldn't like, you know what I mean? Like there's like, I think about it, you know, what gets me upset too is like, you see a lot of people on TikTok, and yeah. you see them blow up and you're like, like, how? I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And I don't know if it's confidence or Sean maybe knows the answer, but like, I'm thinking like this guy blew up how, or like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's just like, um, sometimes that gets to me and I'm like, maybe I just need to, you know, post my, my stuff on TikTok. But then like, the thing is that ideas on TikTok is kind of hard and it sucks that you have to copy. Like, I know a lot of people just blow up by copying trends, but I don't uh -huh. know. It's just like, sometimes I'm well, like, oh, uh, should I just get that ticket to success right there? You know what I mean? Like. Well, and one of the things that I noticed about TikTok is um, TikTok and Instagram, it's easier to blow up. All it takes is the right song that's popular at a time mm -hmm. that you put on your video. And now when people are looking at that song, they see your video pop up, they subscribe, which is something I'm going to start doing. And that's that's the giblet for anybody else. If you are going to use TikTok, the song that you pick, you know, don't pick a song just because you like it. Pick a song that's popular. It increases the chances of your, your channel growing or um, your page growing on TikTok. Um, but, man, I got the um, – I'm doing TikTok. I'm doing Instagram. I'm doing YouTube. And um, I'm also doing Twitch now. Oh, wow. Uh, um, and I'm going to talk about it for Tech Tuesday. But I had to do Twitch because that was the only way with the Xbox to get video and audio commentary. Oh, okay. So I, I don't know what's going to happen with Twitch. Um, I, me and Isaac stream almost every night to Twitch whenever we play the Xbox. So um, I'm always on, on twitch.tv twitch slash the weightlifting geek. That's what it is. Um, wow. That's that's good, bro. Like, you, you're just grinding, bro. And, like, I – you know Gary V, right? That name sounds familiar. He's the, the guy that – uh he he's, like, that motivator, and he just, like – always post on Instagram, TikTok, everything. He's always talking about like posting like once a day and don't just use one platform and like use every platform out there and just like post content, post content, post content. Like, you know, like I told you, I've been thinking about that. Just maybe one day it's like, and even like after talking to, to you know, the chat, I'm like thinking like, bro, like, should I, should I daily vlog? But then I'm like, what if I get burned out? Like, that's the part I don't want. Cause I enjoy this. You know what I mean? Right now I feel yeah. like I'm, and I'm going to call it a career, you know, and YouTube career. I feel like um, that's that's just the, the thing. Like, I just feel like right now I'm enjoying it and I should just keep it there. You know what I mean? Well, um, now, one the one thing that I will say, uh, let's see, what is Sean? Man, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you. We, we, we trying. We are trying. Hey, look, they, hey, look, we fake it till we make it. I'm. I'm about um, 75% faking and 25% making, but eventually it's gonna flip. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I got you, Sean. I got you. Hey, look, it, it is what it is, bro. But by the time this is all said and done, we hope to hit you, get you to 100. So go ahead and drop your link. We're going to try to get you to 100 for sure. Um, the, um, hold on. Yeah, daily is the way to go. Now, um, I, <laughs> but but hold on, let, let, let me say this. The one thing that I will say um, for my TikTok and my Instagram, I'm not creating separate content for that. So for a TikTok and Instagram, I've been doing um, updates after the gym. So it's me and little man. We finished the gym. This is what we did in the gym. Um, go over to the YouTube channel to subscribe. Um, and every now and then I'll take like a clip of what we did in the gym from the live stream and make that as part of the video for TikTok or Instagram, because I don't have the time to create content for TikTok, for Instagram and for YouTube. So I, I chop my stuff up. Um, and that's the only way that I'm able to do it. Cause I, I, I otherwise I can't. Quick question. If, if I can interview the interviewer. Um, yeah. Is it is it possible or what what was your like in the beginning? Right. Because I, I was I kind of did want to prepare because obviously like I didn't find you or you didn't find me, whatever it was like we didn't connect. I don't want to make it uh -huh. sound like we found you know what I mean. But like yeah. um, what was how was your content back then? Because like um, have you like looked back and kind of had that cringe factor where you're like, uh oh, like. Uh, I can't believe I didn't have confidence in the camera or like, um, or what was your content about? Cause you're saying how you kind of converted into the shorts, you converted into the live streams, you converted into all that. So what was it back then then? Um, it, it's always been weightlifting, but mm -hmm. it, I, the Lord, the, to answer your question in one word, trash, my original stuff is straight trash, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, it, and, I actually mentioned it in a video. Um, I leave it up because it's part of my journey. Because the that. whole thing was I wanted a journey to see me grow in YouTube, to see me grow in the gym, and to see me grow as a person. So although I can't watch them because <laughs> it bothers me, they are there for the people that want to see part of the journey. Um, so when I first started doing the Tech Tuesdays, um they were all over the place because the technology field is so huge so it's like i would do one on this i would do one on that i would do one on this and it got to the point where i stopped having ideas for tech tuesday that i felt like were good ideas um and eventually i'm gonna say maybe the last three months or so yeah, maybe three months, three, four months. Um, it just hit me. It's like, if you're going to do a Tech Tuesday and 90% of the people that are watching your channel have a YouTube channel, then do Tech Tuesday about how they can grow YouTube. Mm -hmm. So that was the, and because of the fact that I'm trying to grow myself, now the research that I'm doing off camera, I can put on camera. I share, I give back we all grow because I don't know. I, um, I don't want to be one of those stingy people that has all of these tips for success, but I hoard them and I hide them because these are mine. Um, I, I want to share, I want to give back. So being able to make tech Tuesday about YouTube channel growth in one facet or another was, um, was a big step for me in that area of content. Um, and the motivational minutes, everybody loves them. Dave always talks about how much he likes them. But it was all, um, it was an accident. And I'll be honest. With you, so, like, literally, this is how it happened. I still remember it to this day. Um, I had left work. I had got to the gym. I was sitting in the gym parking lot. And I was like, man, I do not feel like lifting weights today. I have no desire whatsoever. And I was just talking to myself, like, I, I needed a pep talk to get me going. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, well, maybe if I film it, it'll motivate me because it's for the channel. And that was where the first motivational minute came from.
was me wow. sitting in, in, in the car, in the gym, not wanting to go. And I just recorded the pep talk that I gave to myself. That's powerful, and, bro. And then it's like everybody likes them. So now um, I, I love them because I like doing the most random stuff that you would never think about and then turning it into something. So I just, I, man, I have fun making them. I have fun making them. Um, let's see. What did, what did Mimi say? Try everything with no shame and find your niche. That's right. She started doing cleaning and DIY videos. One prank video. One, that's what we were talking about, Mauricio. One prank video was how she blew up. Yep. Wow. Um, okay. I, I kind of want to ask her this question. Like, in the sense of, because I've never really, like, I haven't, we haven't really interacted before other than here. Um, how would you describe her channel? Like, what is it? Because I kind of like, um, now I'm enticed in, in to know a little bit more about her channel. You know what I mean? Because that's very interesting about how she found her her stardom in a little bit. Because I kind of feel like, um, like we were talking about, it's that one video. She just said it as well. It's like that one video just, just well, blows um, you up. You never know. When I first found uh, Mimi's channel, um, she had a video about cleaning out her SUV. It was like a come clean with me DIY type deal. And then mm -hmm. she's had a bunch of other DIY, DIY videos along the way. Um, but now she's right. A lot of this stuff she does are pranks on her husband, pranks on the kids, different stuff like that. And um, that prank niche on YouTube is just, it's a gold mine if you can get into it. Yeah. And uh, it's just, shoo, and that's been it. But I'm going to tell you, man, I love Mimi's channel. She just posted one today. Um, I had a chance to catch part of it. I got to finish watching it and then I got to comment on it. Wow. That's, that, that's so cool, man. I, I, I like to hear, you know, like it just, um, this sounds very, uh, what's it called? Vulnerable, but like, it just sounds like it gives us hope. You know what I mean? Like uh -huh. literally like hearing these stories, just like, it gives you hope about, about, you know, about us being able to grow. And that's like, I think that's like the, the pivotal point that's going to happen. I just, um, I don't know. I'm just hungry for it. You know what I mean? And like I said, I'm, I'm starting to get motivated to the fact that daily vlogs, man, is that going to happen? Or are we going to see like, <laughs> you know? Well, and, and the other thing is cause the vlog, Oh, um, Dave said the candle wax motivational minutes is favorite. Um, that, that was a good one, bro. I gotta admit that was a good one. And I will tell you, Dave, it's funny because, um, I was literally trying to think of what I was going to do for the motivational minute. And um, Veronica burns the scentsy candle things. Mm -hmm. And I saw the candle wax and I got to thinking about it. And I was like, let's do that. <laughs> um, it, it's just crazy how they happen. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's all motivation. It's all, it's all growth. And um, I don't know. I feel like, out of all the things that happens, determination has to be the biggest because determination is what's going to keep us going until it blows up. Because yeah. it's like we were talking about off camera, the people that started with us during the quarantine that aren't making content anymore. Yep, that's very true. That's that's something that and we talked about it, or I already talked about it on this live stream. It's like, I was one of those people. I would have been one of those people. I literally deleted yeah. like all 30 videos I had at the time. Now I have a hundred and, hundred and ninety, I think? 180 is like, it's nice. insane. You know what I mean? It's just like, it, it could have happened or it, it could have, you know, it just could be you. But then at the same time is like, let's turn it around and like keep posting. It can be you. I mean, it could be you and you can go ahead and just, you never know. And you can change your life. You can change your, your family's life. Just give back. You know what I mean? Exactly. That, that's the thing it really goes back to. It's just like, there's so many times that I'm thinking like, like I already have titles for videos that it hasn't even happened yet. And, uh -huh. and I'm like the type of person where I start thinking, and maybe this is a sign, an omen, or who knows what it may be, but like maybe that's because it's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm already yeah. thinking, like, I'm gonna title this video, I bought my mom a car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. like yeah. what are you thinking? 
Like I'm already uh-huh. thinking of things like that. Or like I was um one day I was talking to my my friend and I was like, How would you like to be my assistant in a couple of years? She's like, What are you talking about? I was like, Well, like what if what if it, you know, I just become busy uh-huh. where I might need an assistant? And I was like, uh-huh. Hey, you know what's crazy? I already have a title for a video for you. She's like, What? I was like, since you're paying your own college tuition, what if uh I paid my assistant's college tuition, you know? Uh-huh, like, exactly. Like, I was like, yeah. you know, things like that happen in my head. And I'm like, why is it happening? Is, is this something that maybe it's because it's already, ha- like, it's going to happen, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. That's just the, the big motivating factor for me that happened. I know what you mean, bro. I know exactly what you mean. Oh, yeah, Sean, you're right. Um, I did like the engine one. Um, and trying to think, how did the engine one happen? Um. Oh, I was sitting on the couch trying to come up with something, and I was thinking about my car, and um, that's how the whole engine would happen. Um, let's see. Hey, that's it. That's determination. You could have quit, but you're back, and you're ready to go, and you're making great content. So um, that's what it's all about. It's just it's just about motivating each other. So. Um, Man, I'm going to tell you, bro, um, is there anything else that you want to mention during the live stream? Um, anything that you want the people to know? Not necessarily, just simple, like the the whole uh, kind of preface of, not the whole preface, the whole point of this, like, you know, live stream is just talking about growth and everything. I just hope everybody who watches this after the live stream and everybody who's in here just grows. You know what I mean? I think um, we all have a purpose. Um, obviously uh youtube is like a community where everybody has a chance you know obviously i'm in a whole different niche now compared to you compared to mimi compared to you know sean and and dave like they're y'all three are in fitness and it's just like we have the opportunity to grow i just feel like we shouldn't give up and we're here to motivate each other um and now it's time to kind of become influencers in the in the sense that we can go ahead and influence people not to give up to give up in situations but the thing is, like we were talking about earlier as well, this is like my message on, you know, kind of going ahead and ending this is like, we were talking about earlier about how people just got their opportunity in Los Angeles, wherever, or wherever in the in the damn country or uh, in the damn world where it happened, right? But like, think about, they got their opportunity, but are they influencing for the good? But since we're kind of struggling, like, you know, you're working, you're a dad, you have family to take care of. I have school, I have work. And those are work and school are like two full time jobs, you know what I mean? And then YouTube mm-hmm. is a full time job. Like we're going through that. We feel that struggle. We know that struggle of having nine to fives and stuff. So we should be able to influence, use our influence in the future to go ahead and motivate people whenever we get to our destination. You know what I mean? And I feel like yes. that's basically what we just need to keep on doing because, um, you know, I, I just feel like I told you, I feel like I already made it. I don't know why. Sometimes like yeah. I like I already have tight like I told you, I have titles, ideas on videos, and I'm like, why, bro? Like, why do you have these ideas? Like or like I, I pray, I'm like, God, what does that mean? Am I am I already am I go, am I either going crazy or am I, you know, am I already kind of um prophesizing the future of what, what's to come to my channel, you know what I mean? Or come to my life more like it. Well, um, I, my philosophy has always been that one that says um, aim for the stars and maybe you'll land on the moon. You know what I mean? Like the, the, it's part of your goals and your determination and your drive, because without those things, we we lose our focus. But when we already know where we want to be and how we're going to get there, then um, it's going to happen. Oh, and another gem, another freaking gem that's it that's that's it it's all about motivation so us being able to to see where we want to be is part of the drive of getting there because and i know it sounds crazy and i say it from time to time um i don't say it a lot because i don't necessarily want to come across wrong but i see myself with a million subscribers and with less than a thousand that sounds so stupid but mentally I see it and I see it happening, but now I just have to do the work to get from where I am now to work to where my goals are. And, um, you know, we just keep going. 
We just keep going. Um, oh, hey, you growing, bro? I appreciate that. <laughs> that means a lot. I just got the little notification like right now. Appreciate you that. You growing? You growing? And um, honestly, that within itself is the best part of this whole live stream because knowing that you benefited from the live stream and that your numbers grew, man, that's what it's all about. Appreciate that. That, that really means a lot. Cause I feel like, like I told you, just if sometimes it feels so unmotivating that, that we don't have those people around us to like collaborate with. And then, you know, live streaming like this is just giving us that opportunity You know what I mean? to be able to kind of dabble, you know, cause you never know. Uh, someone might look up my name, see this video, and then they might subscribe to you. You know what I mean? That's uh -huh. the thing that I knew that was going to happen because I was like, exactly. yeah, I might have less, but I have a whole di different demographic. You know what I mean? So it can kind of uh -huh. two worlds collide. You know what I mean? So, exactly. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Um, Mimi said the most motivated people are the ones who never take their subscribers and journey for granted. Never forget. You also. Exactly. Let's go. Hey, yeah. where, where, the, where the damn confetti poppers at, man? I'm, I'm telling you, <laughs> Mimi, Mimi is amazing. Mimi is amazing because that's the thing. Um, whatever your niche is or whatever content you like, um, we were just talking about Gary V on Instagram. Almost 10 million, but he started with one. So it's like we, we just got to keep growing. And all of these things are... Um, it's like Willy Wonka and, and the Chocolate Factory, the golden ticket. You know what I mean? Yep. Every one of these things is buying a candy bar. And one day, we're going to get that candy bar with the golden ticket in it. You know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> so that's what it's all about. That, that's you know amazing. I mean? That's a good philosophy to think about. Like, that that is golden right there. Never forget, you also started with one subscriber. And, you know, everyone that we look up to, they started with one subscriber too. You know what I mean? But the thing is that, like, this is something I've always told myself and I, I try to be vulnerable on this like live stream and I want to be vulnerable in the future whenever I get, I get invited into podcasts, live streams, wherever it may be is like, I, I want to kind of like touch base on like my start and everything because, and we did, because I just feel like a lot of people, whenever I watch people for motivation, I feel like sometimes they don't have, they don't give you those little gems. You know what I mean? They don't yes. give you like, I like, I was about to give up. I just deleted my whole channel. You know what I mean? They don't say that. Uh -huh. So that's why I was like, you know what? I need to like leave little nuggets. Like I made sure that I kind of scripted everything in my head because I really want to be able to, if someone looks up to me, I want them to look at my at my past like interviews or whatever and be like, oh, you know what? This guy deleted his channel. Can you believe it? You yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. Well, and it's like we were talking. Oh, hold on. Oh, we got blue ice in the house. What is going on? What we do? Whoa! What the bro? At work doing push-ups on my break. Go ahead now. That's it. What a king, man. That is it. That's that's amazing. That is it. Oh, I got you, Sean. Man, thanks so much. Um, we really appreciate you stopping by. It means a lot. Hey, I want to see it, bro. Six twenty. I want to see it for sure. But, um, <laughs> By all means, man, have a good evening. We appreciate you stopping by, Sean. We really do. Um, but the the um and it's kind of like what we were talking about off camera before we started the live stream. I don't have enough hands, fingers, and toes to count how many times I want to quit. And saying that, um just None of us are perfect. You know what I mean? The the anxieties of life and whatnot. Um, oh, Dave, type TWLG in the comments and it'll share your um your link. That way Mimi can go subscribe to you. Um, but it's like, man, I've had so many moments where I wanted to quit because it's like I watch other people grow. And it's mm -hmm. not that I'm not happy for them, but it's like, when is my turn? When is my turn? Yep. But, but you know what I've realized? Um, looking at it from that perspective, it focuses on everybody else but me. Because when I have these moments of when is it my turn, 
my next question to myself is what have you done to create a turn you see what yeah. i'm saying so um that's when i have to get back on my grind and i have to start doing more with tiktok and doing more with instagram and um you know what I mean? because i gotta be the one to do it first can i ask you like wait okay whenever you were deciding to quit what was like the factor that made you want to quit was it the the workload was it the like the I guess the 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 success not coming or what was that? Um, the biggest thing for me was the workload because it, man, every Sunday morning at three o'clock because I got little man, I got family, so it's like um, let's go to let's go to Greenville or let's go to Raleigh or and it should be one of those happy moments of we get to do whatever we want to do. But in the back of my head, I'm like, Oh God, I got to edit. I got to do this. I haven't started on the video. I don't know a title. I haven't chopped anything. Um, and that was what got overwhelming is mm -hmm. it, it got to a point where I felt like I had to make a choice and I don't have the money to pay somebody to edit my videos. One day I want to be to that point where I can pay somebody that, what they do is edit videos that can be professional and perfect. And I'll do live streams every now and then, but I, I got to do something in the meantime, because what I'm doing isn't working. I, you know what I mean? I, I can't neglect time with everybody else, but at the same time, I, I don't want to neglect YouTube either because yeah. I know that eventually it's going to grow. So um, for me doing the live streams was what helped because now um on Sundays, I film my Tech Tuesday. Um, it's super simple. I don't I feel like I got a sneeze. Um, I don't have to chop stuff like I would in a weightlifting video. Mm -hmm. uh, me unracking the weight, me putting the weight on. So the weightlifting videos being live streams, I can just do them and go. No editing involved. And then the Tech Tuesday, you know, I record that in 20 minutes. I put some music to it, and then that's it. And it's done for Tuesday. Um, yep. So I had to do the live streams until I can do what I ultimately want to do. Yeah, it's that um, like happy median, I guess. That's what yes. yeah. Yeah. So um that was the biggest thing for me. Dang. That's there you go. That that's so cool, bro, because like you're you're talking about how how you found that median and like and you were talking about how you would want a um someone to kind of go ahead and edit for you. My thing, what I sometimes think is that I feel like things that I want to do, like the, um, the pizza video I just made, I feel like that video would have been so much easier if I had like a, not a crew, but someone just filming me. I, I don't mind uh -huh. editing because um, if we can kind of talk about this too, like as, as yeah. a kid, I bro, I've been wanting to do YouTube since I was like, 13 bro like i actually had a wow. youtube channel i um i talk about it in one video and i actually i actually put in the thumbnail gary v right next to me and that uh -huh. video i was talking about how like um i started youtube at 13 but then like i got bullied out of it because there was like seniors that they were like making fun of me and i only had nine subscribers at the time and i mm -hmm. think to myself like bro you have 400 right now uh -huh. like think yeah. about you had 391 minus back then and uh -huh. you were like so excited and bro i love like i bought a green screen i bought i was more into skits and stuff and okay. um i just like literally bro like that was I, I love editing like um i really love creating like i just love creating the content and you know so maybe in the future i just might need a filmer and i might have to edit it but i feel like if you're gonna have to find someone i feel like the filmer has like the videographer has to be the um the editor as well because i feel like they'll they'll know what to do with the content you know what i mean because they yeah. filmed it you know what uh -huh. I, mean? I feel like that yeah. makes more sense because if you uh have two different people which i see a lot of big people do which is not bad at all but like uh -huh. i feel like the content uh um, will come out more natural if the guy filming it edits it you know what i mean what and and the thing is um the communication there is super key like what you're saying because if i'm filming and my goal of the content is to get this idea across and the editor is looking at it like man that's a great idea it it doesn't work and it comes across crazy yeah um, exactly like and, the 
the thing with editing is that like it's storytelling you know what i mean yes like that's what i'm like a uh, quick plug the last video i made about the pizza i think yeah. that's the best video i've ever made because it was great when you when you look at it it's a story like it literally yeah. is like the next day the momentum picks up right after um i go to sleep like i i announce this live stream and then i go to sleep and then the story begins i'm gonna create uh -huh. I'm gonna create a pizza, a pizza uh, oven like from scratch. And bro, I'm literally just like boom, 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 bricks over here, bricks over here, bricks over here. Uh -huh. Then all of a sudden, you see me at my house, at my in my backyard, and you just see all this stuff happening. I was like, whenever I was editing it, I didn't realize how good the cinematography was. Like I was like, uh -huh. I created that. That's crazy. Uh -huh. Like yeah. insane. So I that. Right now, just hopefully I, at this point, I hit a pocket where, yes. where now it's just going to be my content. is just rocket. You know what I mean? Like now exactly. it's going to be like, damn, this, this guy's in a pocket right now. But what I was going to ask you real quick as well is, do you sure. think with us, this is something that kind of gets in my head. Do you think with us, people will fall in love with the content? Or do you think, cause like what I see a lot about growth, like YouTube growth channels and stuff, they say like the thumbnail has to be good. The title has to be good. But do you think if the inside content was good as well, do you think that's gonna like help growth as well? Or wh what are your thoughts on that? So um, my perspective is I, I try to take time in making my thumbnails mm -hmm. because uh, I've been using Canva and I'm going to do another Tech Tuesday on Canva because Canva is amazing between the templates and the things that you can do. You can create some videos that pop with shading and whatnot. Um, yeah. So I I feel like the thumbnails um, are important to get the eyes on the video. But by the same token, if you got a great thumbnail and the video is horrible, then it's, it's not going to go anywhere. So I always lean toward content. I don't make the best thumbnails. I don't edit the best. But if you watch the video, I think you'll like me. So I, I feel like um, when you have organic growth, because people genuinely like Mauricio, because people genuinely like Joe, then things like this happen because people like my channel and now you're on my channel you've gained subscribers yeah. and then when people go to your channel and they watch your videos they're going to stay it's not just a let me go do this because of the weightlifting geek but it's like man i really like his content yeah so i feel like content has to be first hmm content has yeah because that's where the crossroads i'm in right now i feel like sometimes i think about it and i'm like bro like wh what is going on like you know what i mean like wh like am i naive to think that content goes first or is it really the title and thumbnail and i i don't know what you think but i feel like my thumbnails have gotten better uh yes, because i just have. like tried to um to get better at that because i actually started reading a book um and they were talking about like that Mr. Beast kind of like wrote, not wrote the book, but he helped the guy write the book a little bit. And they were talking about how okay. like a title and a thumbnail with zero subscribers that they can, that Mr. Beast has tried it. Like him making all these other channels, he was doing an experiment to prove that you can get a million subscribers just by the title and thumbnail. That it's just an yeah. experiment. Like, like, let me do this. And let me, I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> when am I going to get good at it? You know what I mean? But can you, you experiment it, with me? <laughs> yeah. But then you look at it, but then you're like, bro, Mr. Beast has 1,200 videos. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it took, you know what I mean? This guy just kept going uh -huh. at it. So that's well, that, that's why I, I don't get really that discouraged because of that. Yeah. I'm going to say um, if, I had to, if I had to put a number on it, I would say... 20 to 30 percent thumbnail and 70 to 80 percent content because for me personally 
I feel like building a movement will get things that stick. Yeah. Because I, you know, I don't get me wrong. I would love to have a video blow up and hit. Um, I think the most I've had right now is like 1.9 K off of a video. Um, but and I would love to have a video 20, 30, 40,000 views. But the problem is all of that is quick and, and it fades because I like that video because of what was in the video. But I don't necessarily like you as a content creator. Mm. So I prefer to have 50 people that are diehard Geek Squad fans because those 50 people are going to promote me. Those 50 yeah. people are going to share me. And a movement is built. So um, that, that's what I'm all about. I just want um, I want to develop a community that helps everybody. And that's what it's all about. To me, that's what it's all about. See, what did Mimi say? I'm looking, Mimi's comments have been fire. That's it. That's it. So, um, I don't know, man. I just, um, and I, I'm a clown. I've always been a clown. I, I try to be professional on the videos, but I'm becoming more and more silly and more and more yeah. on the videos because I'm, I'm letting my uh, quarter inch hair down. Um, but, <laughs> <This guy. laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, I, I don't know. I feel like it's, you got to be able to be yourself and, and the content has to be organic. And those are the things that are going to pe keep people coming back. Because, yeah. hey, look, I'm ready for the next pizza oven video. I want to see the success. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, bro. And that's the thing. Like, there's many times where, like, I edit things out because I'm like, should I be myself? Because they're not the bad things, but it's like my uh, – I have like a, a dark and a funny sense of humor where sometimes I like have to, bro. Okay. I'm going to say it on your chat. <laughs> this is an exclusive. Um, okay. The other day, I don't know if you remember this vlog I posted. Let me, let me look at my channel real quick. It was on, what video was it? I think it was on the attempting to get back at or celebrating with a subscriber. I was talking about how um, like my, my old tripod had broken and i was like saying i literally said this and i edited it out i was like yeah um i can't believe i'm holding this in front of people like in my neighborhood like because i was outside and i was like they uh -huh. probably think they're anal beads or something and then i was like <laughs> edit that out i was like <laughs> you know what i mean but then i was like uh -huh. oh, bro like that's funny like now that i think about it i'm like bro i just said it on your channel like i i just sometimes i um i'm just like bro you should have said it you know what i mean Cause you never know me being myself. That's what's going to bring in the people. Let's see. Now was, I saw the shorts video. Um, which, which video was that? I think it's the one under the Pocky tortillas chips rating. Let me, hold on. I think, or maybe I think it's celebrating with a subscriber. I think it's that one. It's like Dude, celebrating 400 subscribers. That's a short. No, that's a short. Keep going down there. No. Hold on. Oh, the, the the becoming a dad for 24 hours video. That one was good. <laughs> yeah. That, that was which good. one was it? Or I think it was uh, let me see. Hold on. I there oh okay, yeah, yeah. Attempting to get back at college routine 2022. That one. That's the one that I said that I was about to say, but I didn't. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I saw that one. I saw that one yeah 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 see but those are things but seeing mimi stuff is like right now what she said is like it is draining <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is it is it is you got to be yourself you got to be yourself i am the um corniest person you will ever meet i am by definition a cornball i am that's just who i am so i just you know i had to embrace it and include it um because you try so hard to fit the box and the mold um but you got to be yourself because otherwise it, it ain't gonna last exactly because then people people will realize who you are you know what i mean meeting you or whatever they're gonna be like this guy is not that 
you know, if they fell in yeah. love with you because you're strict or because you're goofy and then they meet you and they're like, this guy's not goofy. This guy was like, yeah. like <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like, like a yeah. soldier or something like. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, man, I'm going to tell you, bro, um, I have really enjoyed the live stream. I really have. Um, normally, I try to keep them to about an hour, but Lord, we had so much fun. I couldn't stop. <laughs> yes, sir. Same here, bro. So um, I'm happy to see you grow within the live stream now and um, in the days to come. I hope that you gain more subscribers from the live stream. Um, let's see what it made me say. <laughs> i got you i got you look your secret's safe with us and the rest of the world we won't tell anybody <laughs> yeah us and your 2k subscribers we'll, we'll keep you <laughs> we'll keep your secret safe with us. oh man i love it i love it i love it um but yeah i just i mean i appreciate you being up here and um I, I'm hoping in the future we'll be able to do another live stream and um, same, bro. It'll kind of be an update. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, we'll kind of do an update and um, we'll go from there. Um, but I, man, I can't wait to see you hit a hundred k. I can't wait to see you hit a, a k. I can't. Man, it's, it's gonna be amazing. And I would tell you, I would be one in the comments with the weightlifting symbols and the party symbols. Like, go, Mauricio, go. You I'm know? going to. North I know we're gonna celebrate, baby. <laughs> hey, let's do it. Let's do it. So, um, thank you so much. I want to thank everybody else that's been a part of the live stream today. Um, your questions have been amazing. Uh, everybody's comments have been great. Mimi was on fire. You know what I mean? Um, just some some great information that can help us all to grow. Um, what we'll do in just a few minutes, we'll do the silent live stream part. Um, cause Unk mentioned that making the, making a silent live stream after the actual interview portion. So we'll do a silent live stream for a little bit. Um, man, we appreciate it, Mimi. We appreciate it. Likewise. So to conclude the interview with my main man, Mauricio, this is the weightlifting geek, the intersection of technology and technique. And the home of the Geek, Geek Squad. Squad. <laughs> but, man, I appreciate you, bro. Um, I'm going to switch to the silent live stream, but I'm going to hit you up on IG in just a minute. All right, bro. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all as well. All right. So let's see. Let me get the – I'm going to remove myself, too. We'll put the logo up, and feel free to watch to help our – hours we got to hit those 4k watch hours so stick around for that we appreciate it